What's going on guys? Welcome back to the challenge your host with the most time boy to blow in you're watching time boy T V Remotes on the way. Just know, just know. We got big things coming this summer, you already know. So today is currently It is Wednesday, my dudes. Wednesday, yes, you guessed it correct. Today's Wednesday, you know what that means. Some retail resale estimations, getting ready for tomorrow's drop, which is Supreme SS18 Week 19. So it's rumored that there's only gonna be one week left after this, so week 20, would have mentioned the last week, and unfortunately, then SS18 is coming to a close. Well, kind of fortunately, kind of unfortunately, because SS18 was kind of booty cheeks. I mean, it was all right, accessories were very fire, but everything was pretty like, eh. It was I right. no BOGO, maybe a BOGO, Bruh. you never know. Supreme always does some crazy stuff, and shout out to Supreme for actually doing some great stuff for the t-shirts. They're donating a lot of stuff to the, like, the kids who were separated from the families uh, at the border. All the immigration policies, shout out to them. It's free fire. If you guys don't know the summer teas, a, a percentage of the profits will be going to that. So that's very nice of them. And you know, we got some other news going on today. But pretty much, you make sure you guys enter the raffles for the Jordan 4 Levi's, as well as the Yeezys. Make sure you just cop a pair. You know, they might not do great for resale. However, you'll still be able to make like $30, and who doesn't want $30 in their bank account, you know? And you never know what could happen, even though Yeezy's gonna pull out a million pairs, so. I mean, it's up to you. The table talking about Supreme and nothing else. And get ready, because it's a pretty fire week, and hella, hella amount of teas are dropping. So, let's head into it right now. So, as you guys know, we go from least hub to most hub, and least resale to most resale. And of course, before we start, if you guys want some good karma for next week, I mean, for tomorrow's drop, if you guys want to cop all the tees, the breathalyzer, the freaking misprint, the freaking illegal uh, ABC alphabet type looking design, y'all got to comment and subscribe. I'm telling you, it helps. Ask hella people in the comments. I know a few people actually commented last week as well that it works. So, you know, I ain't lying. I ain't fibbing. Just comment and subscribe, please. I appreciate you guys so damn much. And of course, I gotta make another announcement. I'm sorry, my last and final one. If you're from StockX, please rethink everything. As I always say, don't sell to highest bid. Please don't. Please fix that. I know everyone's been like, oh, let me do a StockX giveaway, like all the big YouTubers. I'm like, bruh, it's really killing everybody's stuff. So, whatever. That's just my opinion for the day. And of course, so high. All right. So pretty much, first up, we're gonna go into the hats. First hat that we got up is we got the floral five panel. All right, man, what is going on in here? What is going on? Retail is expected to be forty-four dollars. It has two only colorways, which you might think, oh, it's so hyped, but not, not really. It's only in like a pink floral type colorway and a blue, green, and red type floral colorway. Major brick. Do not cop unless you like it yourself. And of course, if you always do like stuff for yourself, cop it. I mean, it's all on you, not all about resale. So that's what you should do. Now we'll move on to the next hat, which is the race logo patch camp cap. Retail expected is $48. Um, as I said in my preview of the rest of the season, this is pretty much looking to be like a race cap so you can like feel it. it's over and I feel like it might be kind of sick, but not worth that at all. No reselling this again as well. Fortunately, that's how caps have been this whole season besides like the Camo Cordura one, which is literally going for like $200 right now, which is insane. That's from last week and the bucket hats. I mean, it's like gonna be another easy pass. Next, we move on to the Skull Pile Denim Tote. If you guys do not remember, the Skull Pile design dropped actually week one, uh, week zero, I consider it, because that's when I went in store, and we cooked up on this. I still actually have the bandana somewhere. Let me find it real quick. Yeah, you see right here. This is pretty much blown up all over a tote bag, and believe it or not, it's actually like a denim, so I'm assuming it's like made out of like actual denim. I don't know how that'll work. I don't, I don't know. I hope it's good quality, because normally it's like a thicker type quality, but it's all caught in 3.75 ounce. Denim with liquid blue skull pile printed graphics. So I mean, there you go. But uh, holy shit, I just realized retail on this is expected to be $98. What the hell, dude? Oh my god. That's it. I actually was supposed I was gonna go for this item. Not gonna front. And then all of a sudden they hit with you with the $98. I'm like, damn. Next, we finna move on to the alphabet collection. If you guys haven't seen it, you probably should have. If not, I'm gonna tell you right about it. The alphabet thing was considered as a cease and desist because the artist said it's copyright, I didn't get any money for it, so therefore I don't want you guys using my designs, because it is actually copyrighted, this alphabet stuff made out of these different freaking shapes. But I guess Supreme paid them off, and now we got a new collab. I mean, not a new collab, but we got some new uh, designs that are dropping that were supposed to be scratched completely, but they do have them. So first of we have the alphabet water short. It's a lightweight polyester type material, dropping for $118. Uh, definitely cop this, all right? For resale wise, definitely try to cop the pants, the water shorts, or the freaking top, because it's a season to assist concern still, but not really. I mean, the vase is definitely a hitter, so if you cop that good shit for you, but I feel like this will go up. 
And it's honestly, if not, it's a far personal cop in my opinion. That's what I'm trying to go for. I'm trying to go for the black colorway. It's a, a kind of like a loud piece, but not really. It does have a lot of Supreme branding, which kind of draws it away from the resale market. However, it's still some profits to be made because of the fact it's such a unique piece. Oh wait, my bad actually, my mistake. They do not have another top, the top drop before. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but now they have like the beach collection, I guess you, I'm gonna call it that, the beach collection. We got the Alphabet Beach Towel. It's an all cotton terry with printed graphics, so it's gonna be $68. But it's actually like a big ass beach towel. They haven't dropped that in a fat minute either. Like the last one that I could probably remember, honestly, is the astronaut one. That was a very fire towel. And honestly, I can't remember much. I um, like the smaller ones, but I hope this is like a big one. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I can lay down at the beach, get the full alphabet gang going on. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we pretty much got three colorways. It's the black, blue, and orange. No green colorway for the towel, which thank goodness, because that thing would be whack. And it says the F word, if you can see it in the middle. I mean, it's a sick piece. I'm going to like it. I would definitely go for it because I haven't dropped towel in a while. So therefore, that's what I'm saying. Like it will be worth a good amount, I think. That's what I'm going for. But $68 retail, give or take shipping, $78. I think it'll be around $100, if not less. But then again, StockX might as well just ruin everything, so you can't predict. And as always, resale predictions are not spot on all the time. I haven't been wrong that much this season, maybe like a few times, but like, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the mesh baseball top, bruh. I despise this piece so freaking much, dude. It's $108, dropping a multitude of colors, including camo, black, navy, white, and orange. This is just whack, dude. The mesh, the, I hate the mesh designs, as well as the overdyed stuff now. Like, I'm just not feeling the matter, but it's dropping in those colorways, $100 retail, a major brick again. I like the idea, though, like the Supreme on the front. The cursive is very nice. Don't get me wrong. The design is very nice. I just don't like the material the t-shirt's printed on because I would have liked, say, a cotton jersey or an actual button-up. Let's see, they did actually Yan Yankees collab once again. Next, we got this bridal, bridal print polo dropping for $88. This reminds me of my, like, some grandpa-ass, head-ass walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? He a grandpa, he chilling, he just got done with the strippers, he played some golf around at 12, and he's retired, he has something better to do, so he finally could buy some Supreme Polos for 100, no, $88, my bad, plus tax, plus shipping, it's like 98, so round up to 100, no, re no resell on this at all, I feel like this is going to be a major sitter on the site, probably the biggest brick of the season, I mean biggest brick of this drop, and then we got another Rayon shirt, actually, so many Rayon shirts this season, we got the Vibrations Rayon shirt for $128, Dropping in white, red, yellow, and blue. It'll match the pants that dropped last week as well that are still in stock, believe it or not. And yeah, it's going to be $128, so $138 with shipping. Honestly, resale is going to be a brick on this as well, in my opinion. A lot of this stuff is going to be bricks, honestly, because of the fact... StockX. Just one word. StockX. Oh, and put under it, kids. That's it. That's the only reason, in my opinion. And then we move on to the Mo freaking accessories. Man, these accessories. Well, there's only one very amazing accessory dropping for this drop and that is the backtrack go keychain i desperately need this item bruh like this is such a funny piece like imagine this is my ah uh, i'm not gonna tell you my idea for the video i'm not gonna say it but it just know it's gonna be fire so make sure to subscribe for that all right so this is pretty much a breathalyzer retailing expected for 48 dollars the actual item itself like backtrack sells their own for like around 30 ish dollars so 48 is kind of a big jump for a little item like it's a very small but it's a very fire just because it's like a crowbar it's a mo freaking breathalyzer like who doesn't want that and last but not least we head into the summer tees now one thing i do have to say summer tees are very hard to predict resale because the colorways there's so many so many sizes so many colorways and so many different designs but the most hyped in my opinion is something gonna be the rocks tee but we're gonna say that for last you know what i'm saying we'll go from least hyped to most hyped so this type, in my opinion, is definitely the hardware tee. It was unseen, it was unknown until like literally 30 minutes ago. That's why I decided to put this video out right now. It was $40, expected retail, definitely the most expensive expected item of the tomorrow's drop. But what I wish they did is put the Supreme Bogo in the bottom right corner like they did for the JFK tee. All the multiple two multitude of tees that they did before. Now they just have not been doing the mini bogos in the bottom of the photo tees, but whatever, man. Fire T, in my opinion, if you guys don't know, they dropped the polo with this all over print design. It's the T releases in different colorways, and the portion goes to the kids. Shout out to the kids, man. Next, we're on to the swimmer's T. This this is such a fire T, man. Two, two chicks chilling on poolside with Supreme bathing suits. We were actually, I'm not even gonna lie, damn. We were literally talking about this. I'm a lifeguard, so we were talking about this shit exactly. What if freaking Supreme made a freaking woman's bathing suit, bruh? No cap on set. We were literally talking about that yesterday at work. 
I just gotta put that out there. Yellow is definitely my favorite colorway though. I haven't seen the rest of them. There's gonna be like cyan, blue, pink, navy, red, black, white, maybe even ash gray. So many colorways. It's up to you though, the personal preference. But always the best when we does white and black because that's simple and it doesn't have a lot of discretion from a lot of people. So I expect the refills $36. Next, we move on to the Guns logo T. Uh, pretty much the Guns logo, as you guys don't know, is featured on a lot of items, including the hoodie this season, which was a major brick. I mean, I like, I'm expecting this to be embroidered or like a patch, and it's going to like switch upside down, upside down. It reminds me of like Nike swooshes going upside down, like Travis Scott's on the on the sheet. The quality of the t-shirt looks very fire, but I don't know if that's just the image itself. But this is the Guns logo T. Expect to retail for $36. Fire, in my opinion, I like the Gonzo logo design. I like the whole background story, the whole skate design stuff. So I'm going to cop this for sure. I'm also going to be trying to cop everything because season's coming to an end. Next, move on to the Ganesha tee for $36. Blown up in blue. It must be the Yo Supreme tee. Uh, Supreme in red, and it has some crazy writing under it. I don't know what it says, so comment down below if you know. Shout out to the guy who did that on my last video. I'm sorry I didn't respond to everybody yet, but shout out to you. I appreciate it. And we got a female's head right above it. Very fire piece, gonna be expected to retail around $36. Reselling a lot of these tees, like the big branded ones, like say the Ganesha tee. The, honestly, that's all I've been through right now. The Ganesha tee, probably expected profit $25, if not more. But I know summer tees are normally bricks, not normally, but some of them because they haven't been doing a lot of sick designs. Reselling the Gons logo, I'd say maybe $15. Swimmer's tee, maybe $10. And Hardware tee, another $10. That's after, say, I'd say that after shipping. If you pay tax, you might be a BTI. Sorry, man. We got Next, we got the Tentacles tee, very hyped. This is definitely the second most hyped tee, and Ganesh, I'd say, is the third. The Tentacles tee is expected to retail for $36. A lot of people are gonna be going for this, and it releases in different colorways as well. It's featured here in white. Very fire, very clean, and of course the sticker packs will be coming in this as well. So I'll definitely cop it. Expect to resell this is about twenty dollars as well. Oh, I forgot about the Mona Lisa guy. The Mona Lisa T is dropping for thirty six dollars. Has a, her picture right here, legendary, iconic, my lady, room iconic. We got Supreme going down the freaking left of it, dropping it. As you can see on the website as well, there's a pink colorway, but I have it in the white because that's what the only they had at the moment. And definitely gonna be can definitely cop this. It has Supreme. If it says Supreme on it, just cop it for resale because it has been branding, so therefore it will do great. Finally, last but not least, the last item of this week is the Rocks T, the Gemstone T, whatever you want to call it. it. Has three major cities under the word Supreme: New York, London, and Paris. Right? Paris? 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 My bad. A Paris. Thirty-six dollars. Expect to resell that as thirty dollars above, if not more. Definitely could go up because of the fact it's a limited piece. Great item. I would definitely go for white or black colorways for the t-shirts. Not a lot of different colorways unless you cop a small. Smalls, if you guys can cook smalls, good shit for you. You definitely could on a few items because they're not going to all sell out in smalls right away. But watch out for Cyber because they finna pull some fuck shit on all of us and cop all the teas. If you go on manual, shout out manual gang. So good luck tomorrow guys. Make sure to comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching this. Hope you enjoyed and of course, stay tuned for the more. Thank you guys. Peace.